Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Ferdinand Holm filling in for Lee Solomon. Another beautiful day, look at this. Uh, temperatures up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, upper 70s and low 80s, but look at the lows. Boulder Creek bottomed out at 38, Scotts Valley bottomed out at 37, some 40s for Watsonville and for Santa Cruz. Not as cold overnight on the peninsula with the marine influence there. 70s pretty much for our highs today. So again, beautiful, a little bit low 80s toward a Carmel Valley, a little bit away from the sea breeze. Down the Salinas Valley, overnight lows in the 40s. Even Solid had got into the 30s. Highs today, again, very comfortable. 70s and low 80s down the Salinas Valley. And then up in the Santa Cruz, or up in the Santa Clara Valley, 80 for San Jose, 78 Morgan Hill, some 40s for the overnight lows. Hollister peaked at 82 degrees. Across the state, up and down the California coast, with the exception of Eureka, everybody into the 70s and through the Central Valley, 70s. Sacramento Valley, upper 70s and low 80s. Beautiful Lake Tahoe, 57 degrees. Vegas came in at 81. Palm Springs in the low 90s. Northern tier of the company, com company in the country, Northern tier of the country feeling very fall like 50s and 60s across the northern tier, 76 in Chicago, Dallas, 88 degrees and some 70s and 80s across the east coast. As far as the storms go and the rain and the snow, some high elevation snow up and through the northern Rockies here. Here, a pretty good looking system moving through the heartland of our country. No severe weather with that, just a lot of rain, some rain down in through Florida as well and up toward New England or moving in toward New England for us. Here's a live view, Monterey from the Portola Hotel and Spa. Mostly clear skies. See these little clouds right here? So the marine layer is starting to form. It's trying to form. It's actually wrapping down the San Mateo coast right now. Uh, as far as the winds go offshore, so this should probably keep the fog at bay or at least on the bay through the overnight hours. As far as your temperatures go right now, 60s around the bay, still some 70s and 80s inland. And here are your winds. The sea breeze has kicked in. So again, that's keeping our temperatures in check. The general wind pattern is going to shift to a more northeasterly breeze. So that'll be an offshore wind over the next couple of days. Here's the marine there again. You can see it kind of just drifting down the San Mateo coast. It's kind of trying to wrap around the uh, point there into the Monterey Bay. So again, overnight tonight with the offshore winds, the fog is going to try to form. There might be some patches in the early morning hours, but other than that, it'll be a mostly sunny day. Here's your setup. There's the departing trough of low pressure that brought us the cool temperatures over the last couple days. Now we've got high pressure in place, the high pressure ridge. It's going to keep things warm during the daytime, but we're still going to see the cool nights. There is an area of low pressure well offshore, but this guy, it's not going to do anything. It's going to sit out here and actually it's going to get pinched off by the jet stream. It's going to get cut off and then it's actually going to drift out into the ocean. So again, we're not going to have to deal with that for the next several days. We're going to deal with the high pressure ridge and we've got a lot of nice temperatures coming up here over the next few days. Still a little bit chilly for the overnight lows though. Here's your sea breeze in the afternoon. Watch the arrows as we go through the overnight hours. Look northeasterly here, easterly, northeasterly down here, easterly as well. So again, we got the offshore breezes. That's going to try to keep the fog offshore. But again, there could be a couple patches right around the bay, but that'll be it. Most of the low clouds in the marine there will stay well offshore. As far as your temperatures go, Tomorrow, if you're heading around the San Francisco Bay Area, 70s around the bay, maybe close to 80 degrees around Redwood City, Redwood City or Fremont or so Mountain View, but for the most part, temperatures in the 70s. Some low 80s down the Santa Clara Valley, San Jose, 81, 84, Gilroy, and you'll notice the overnight lows not as cool as it has been the last couple nights, more 40s as opposed to 30s. Down the Salinas Valley, overnight low 49, down to King City about 45, and then temperatures rebounding. So again, in the morning hours, dress in layers, you know, because it will be chilly in the morning, but by the afternoon we're talking temperatures in the 80s. Even on the peninsula, overnight lows in the 50s with highs in the low to mid 70s. Tomorrow, of course, Carmel Valley, a little bit warmer, 82 degrees. And then up in Santa Cruz County, up in the hills and closer to the beaches, upper 70s and low 80s after overnight lows in the 40s, so no 30s overnight tonight. Like Scotts Valley, one of the cooler spots there you can see getting into the upper 30s overnight tonight. Here's your KSBW eight day forecast. So pretty nice here over the next several days with temperatures at the coast, 70s and low 80s, pretty much across the board till about Monday or so. And then by Tuesday, a little bit of a cooling trend here. And right now I've got sunshine all the way across the board there. Maybe next week we'll see that marine layer uh, reform at least uh, more widespread as opposed to the patchy nature of which we're looking at right now. 
Inland highs, Friday and Saturday will be your warmest days of the week where we've gotten into the low 90s and then that cooling trend begins on Sunday and continues through much of next week. But again, lovely temperatures, not too hot and not too cool, pretty much just right. Nice stuff. If you, if you like nice. mild temperatures. Sure, well, and most people do. Yeah. I, I think so. <laughs> nice forecast. Okay.